as he wanted at the top, leading Britain to victory in the European Cup final in Munich. Britain took the title for only the second time. The last was eight years ago. By 13 points, beating Germany and Russia into second and third places, respectively. And Christie capped a perfect captain's performance by following his 100 metre success yesterday with the 200 today. World record holder Jonathan Edwards got the men's challenge off to a superb start with a massive leap of 17.74 metres and the triple jump, the best in the world this year. And he was so confident of victory after that that he sat out the last two rounds. Perhaps performance of the day came in the men's 3,000 metre steeplechase. Robert Huff running in his first race for Great Britain held off the Italian world champion Alessandro Lambruscini. A fantastic victory and Great Britain's first ever success in the event in the European Championships. For the women, Kelly Holmes showed she's fully recovered from the injury that wrecked her hopes in Atlanta. She won the 1500 metres, helping the women's team to third place, their best ever finish. And Linford Christie's last appearance in a Great Britain best couldn't have been a closer affair. He was going well in the 200 metres, but over the closing straight he was caught by the Greek Georgios Panayotopoulos. A photo couldn't separate them and it was declared a dead heat. Christie maintaining his unbeaten record in the European Cup. Christie's career came full circle as the team celebrated victory. He was first elected captain and Great Britain won the men's event for the first time in 1989. He says he means to retire this time and it's definitely his last appearance. And what better way for him to bow out. Richard Johnson, Sky News.